Um, and, you know, as I travel the state, Iowans tell me they want a leader that will stand up for the American people, stand up for this country and our freedoms, that have the moral conviction to do the right thing even when it's really hard, that has the vision and the resolve um, to deliver, and that needs to start on day one. And most importantly, they usually end with saying, we need somebody that can win. So tell us why you are that person. Our country is just broken right now. I see it in a way that the needs that it has economically, my background is suited for. I, I really see things financially out of two lenses. I'm a pastor and a, and a CEO of an investment bank, and we are so broken in both of these areas. If we don't solve our financial crisis we're in, we're going to look back in one time. If we, if we could look back in history two years before the Great Depression or the Great Recession and go, what could we have done different? We're in that moment, and now it's time to use wisdom. I, this is what I believe. Something's coming that we're not prepared for. That's why I'm running. I see it happening. I see a perfect storm coming of expansionary inflation, slow growth due to the banking situation, raising of interest rates, and an opportunity for us to connect to people, connect to their hearts, get back to job training, get back to winning. We have to grow our base. Right now, we only won 46% of the vote in the last two elections, the Republican Party. Regardless if you think it was stolen, 47%. What it wasn't, it wasn't 50%. Ronald Reagan in his second term went 59%. He transcended the party, and he got a coalition. If I, as president, do not connect to America, I'll never have a coalition to solve some of these big issues. A divisive platform will not take us there. Most of my counterparts, I love a lot of things they stand for, but going farther right, going farther harder, and fighting and vilifying the left is not going to win the middle. And at the end of the day, we have to recognize that we have to not compromise our message. We have to communicate our message. We have a great message. We've had poor messengers. And we have a great message of a small government, freedom, liberty that matters. I will carry that message as president. I will make sure that everybody in America, whether you're from rural America, suburbs, or urban America, regardless of your race or regardless of your age, that you feel like this one thing will be there in your life. A statement that I don't hear enough of, that we'll all be able to say, I'm proud to be an American. And they'll be able to say that. Because our nation is going to be on track financially. We're going to solve the budget crisis. We're going to lead with wisdom. It's going to take all of God's grace for us to come together and heal our wounds. But in Ecclesiastes, the Bible says this. There's a time for war and a time for peace. It is a time for us to connect to each other, build up, and solve these problems. I will lead as president our country to do that. And when we're strong here domestically, financially, and together, there will be nothing that can stop us. Abraham Lincoln said it this way. He said, if America is ever destroyed, it will not be from the outside. If we falter and lose our freedoms and stumble, it will be because we destroyed ourselves. We're at a precipice of pulling ourselves apart. I would call it like a Band-Aid you're pulling. I can see the whiteness of it. It's time for us to restore our country back to wisdom, transparency, faith in each other, and faith in God. And I will lead us that way to the greatest days of prosperity ahead. Ryan Bakeley, thank you so thank much for you. joining us. Appreciate, we appreciate it. you being a part of it. Thank you. God bless you guys. Thank you very much.